I'm kind of shocked because, you know, I wasn't expecting it at all. What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. What do I talk about today? I start from the beginning. The other day, I went out with my friends, Paolo and Carlos, and we've been flying drones, making videos and stuff, and man, that was fun. And I brought with me my Canon R6 and my Canon R7. While I was there, I decided to shoot some B-roll. And you know, since I got my Canon R6, I've been shooting my B-rolls mostly in 4K60. Because sometimes with my Canon R6, when I shoot in high frame rate, 120 frames per second, the results are not like, mm. but this time I wanted to make a comparison to see what we can get if we shoot in high frame rates, 120 frames per second with the Canon R6 and the Canon R7. But, well, I, I'm just gonna show you first and then I'm gonna talk about it, like the results. So the two B-rolls you're about to see were shot 120 frames per second, one on the Canon R6 and the other one on the Canon R7. Let's see if you can guess which B-roll was shot with which camera. So you will just see camera A for the first B-roll and camera B for the second. Just watch. All right, so what do you think about it? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. And check the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects. One month for free. Special thanks go to Paolo, one of the drones, and Carlos from Mundo Audio Visual. If you understand Spanish, check out the channels. They're awesome. So now I'm gonna tell you, the first B-roll, camera A, was shot on the Canon R6. 
and the second one, camera B on the Canon R7. Well, that was a total surprise. I wasn't expecting these results. On one side, it's true, I didn't like very much the Canon R6 in 120 frames per second, but I have to admit, in this case, it did well. But I'm so surprised that the Canon R7 performed fantastically. I mean, maybe it's just my impression, but it looks awesome. And that's incredible. I wasn't expecting it at all. Well, when I got the R7, uh, yeah, I got it as a second camera. And I knew it had the 120 frames per second option feature. But since I already wasn't really happy with the results in 120 frames per second of the R6, I was actually expecting something worse from the R7. In my opinion, it performs better than the Canon R6 in 120 frames per second. That's kind of incredible because the Canon R7 costs something like a grand less than the Canon R6. The Canon R6 when it came out it was about 2500 bucks and the Canon R7 1500. So I'm kind of shocked because you know I wasn't expecting it at all again I was actually shooting almost all my b-rolls in 4k 60 but now I think that's gonna change because I'm gonna do all the things I have to do with my main camera the Canon R6 but when I would want to shoot in high frame rates well I'm gonna use the R7 there is to say that because of the C-Log3 and the color science, the colors are almost the same. So where do I think the R7 is better? In the digital noise. Strange. It's a shocker. Because when we shoot in 120 frames per second with the Canon R6, we get very easily digital noise. A lot even when we expose everything correctly. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but it happens more often than not. And this time, if I give it a try, it was just because I was out for fun with my friends. But if I was in a professional shooting, I would have never done it. I wouldn't have even tried. So what do I mean? That you should get a Canon R7 to work professionally? Uh, no. I mean, as long as you use it as a second body, as a second camera, yeah, that'll do the job. But still, there are so many things, like everything else, besides the 120 frames per second, where the R6 is so much better than the Canon R7. I would say I was lucky to get it as a second camera, but no, that wasn't luck, because I didn't want to buy it right away when it came out. I waited, I'd been studying, I tried it, and then I decided to buy it because it's a really good camera. If you don't own a camera, that'd be my first choice. If you own a Canon R6 or a Canon R5, yeah, that's fine. You can get it as a second camera. You can totally match the clips in post with the colors and everything. And again, if you don't own any camera at all, the R7 would be my first choice. But again, it depends on what you need because the fact that this camera is good in 120 frames per second doesn't mean that it's a perfect camera for you. It depends what you shoot and it depends on how much money you can spend. Like I said, for me, it was a total surprise because you know how much I love shooting in 120 frames per second and since I got my Canon R6, I just couldn't do it much because sometimes it does it well, like decently, but more often than not, the footage I get is like not good enough. But with the R7, it just looked fantastic, in my opinion. And that's something I wasn't expecting, like to find some better quality, even if for the feature only, in a much cheaper camera. Well, what can I say? Now I have two cameras that complement each other. All right, that's all I wanted to say and to share with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, smash the like button right now and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah!